up YouTube? It's your girl Ishii, it's her and I am and I am back with another video. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing good, great vibey, all those beautiful, wonderful, and amazing things. I know I am. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm at work. This morning has started off pretty good. Um, I only had one person and he really didn't need anything from me. He just needed some questions answered. So that was easy, it was nice. Let's pray that it stays that way. Let's pray that it stays that way. Um, my morning was going good. I didn't get up till late though, but I, you know, I made me a little bagel for breakfast, got my fruit and everything. Like everything is nice. It's just hot. It's just hot as fur. Oh, chill. This morning. On this good old morning. It's hot as fire. Like 88 degrees. I don't know how hot it's supposed to get today, but summer is definitely here, child. Summer is definitely here. And I have a song stuck in my head. I don't know why. I'm still in the middle of the club trying not to cry to a love song to a love song to a love song yeah yeah i'm in the middle of the club trying not to cry to a love song i don't know why that's in my head i can't tell y'all i cannot tell y'all why that's in my head but it is but it is and let me get out people face while i'm pulling up to the light all up in shorty car all up in her car. I ain't got no reason to be in her car. Well, um, we're on our way to possibly Wegmans. I, I said I'm going to get me a, like, a little wrap with, um, like a turkey wrap and, um, uh, a bag of chips. We're going to see if I can keep the strength because Wegmans also has some of my favorite cookies. And if y'all haven't had them, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but they the coconut macaroon cookies oh my god they also got chocolate chip cookies with walnuts in it and y'all i am a i am a fat connoisseur i am a fat meal connoisseur and um i like snacks i like snacks and they got good snacks at wegmans so i'm gonna try to keep my composure i got fruit i got fruit so I'm gonna try to eat my fruit, eat a sandwich, get a little bag of chips, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing too crazy, nothing too major. Um, I'm gonna try to do that and, and eat better. Eat better today. Um, other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like ain't too much been going on with my day. Ain't too much been going on with my morning. It's still early. Like I, I felt rejuvenated and I feel, I feel great, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, just a tad bit still sleepy. But other than that, like, I feel, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I just don't. Yeah, I don't be looking at the camera sometimes because I be driving for one foot too. I don't like the way my forehead be looking in this camera. Like, it be feeling like like I, my head got a point to it and then it come down and it don't. Like, I'm just, I just got a big head. I promise y'all I do. I promise y'all I just got a big head. And that hump right there is my hair. It's just, it, it throws me off sometimes when I look at the camera because I be feeling like a calm head. Like, I don't know. Like, my head is a weird shape and it's not. I just don't know. I got to get out of my face with that. I got to get out of my face. Huh. Giving myself unnecessary insecurities. I just need to fight the ones I got. Shoot. Give myself unnecessary insecurities. Because let me tell you something. I ain't insecure about the way I look. I look good. I, trust me when I tell you I look good. But I need to unbig my back. That's the only thing I'm a little like, off-putting off with myself about is um, unbigging my back. That's it. That's it. That's all. Everything else is cool. Like, I love my smile. I love my gap. I love my ears. I love my head. I love my hair. My head big, and I enjoy having a big head. I just don't enjoy having a wide back. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially because I got these little flaps on the back, on my back, on my back fat, and my little sister like to play with them. It's just real embarrassing. 
and she liked to play with my arms because my arms big so and 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 my grandma's arms was big and i get my arms from her so she used to play with her arms and now she played with mine it's just so much it's so much but i'm gonna be all right i'm gonna be all right i'm gonna unbig this back lose these arms and i'm gonna be okay i just gotta stop eating so daggone much not 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 eating so daggone much i gotta stop eating unhealthy that's what i gotta stop doing but food just be good if anybody got that testimony raise your hand child put it in the comments food just be so good Poor. You don't want me to be this big. You shouldn't have made food like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, child, my thighs is still sore, but I did walk yesterday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I fought myself. Because I promise you I didn't want to. But I stretched after I walked. I, I, didn't, I didn't stretch before I walked. But after I walked, I stretched my legs all out real stretch my bilaterals and bisexuals i just stretched them out um i stretched mine they felt they feel good but they back stiff this morning so i probably have to stretch them out again but we gotta work today tonight with my cousin so we'll see how i feel feel when i come back from working with him normally we be pretty chill though like it don't be doing too much it don't be giving too much that i've got um and he be keeping me entertained along with Gerald. So, um, yeah, it should be cool. It should be cool. But I'm about to go to Wegmans and give me some food because I spent majority of this time just um, rambling. I rambled. I rambled a lot. And and, 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 and that's fine. But um, I see y'all when I get to Wegmans. Hopefully, I don't change my mind by then and be like, it's too hard to get out of the car. It's too many bees flying around because I know I don't do the buzzy, buzzy BBs. So I'll see, uh, I'll see y'all when we get inside. We'll see what happens. Hey, right, child. I'm so proud of myself. I'm leaving Wegmans now. Uh, Package secured. But I'm so proud of myself. I stuck to my word. Oh, that's a dragonfly. But I stuck to my word. And I went in Wegmans and got me something to eat instead of going through a drive-thru. I'm so proud. Right. But yeah, like I said, I'm so proud. Instead of going through a drive-thru and trying to find mm -hmm. something to eat. Shut up. Uh, I shouldn't have said shut up because I like that song because my my favorite rapper, favorite rapper is on that song. You know what I mean? So I shouldn't have said shut up like that, but I apologize, J. Cole and Lil Durky. I like that song, but y'all can't just be playing like that out of nowhere because I ain't even had a radio up loud like that when I got out the car. But yeah, I ain't go to a, um, a fast food line. I ain't changed my mind. I went in there and got my sub. Bugs and all. Beats. Well, there weren't no bees out here today, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that was that was a blessing. God knew what he was doing because he knew I was not equipped to be running around here in this heat, in these dress clothes. Running for no bee. They get no sub. But, um, yeah, I got me a little sub or whatever. Toasted my little bread. You know what I'm saying? Fix it up the way I wanted it to. And now I'm on my way back to that place and eat my lunch or whatever i'm going back to that place to eat my lunch or whatever the girl was like the girl at the counter was super cool she was like i don't know where i'm going <laughs> she said i don't know where i thought i was going Why well, i'm um is you inside or outside i think you outside but she was like i don't know where i thought i was going i don't know where you was where i thought you had went i was like girl it's like it's it's morning but yet it's a long day it's okay <laughs> it's yet a long day it's okay it's okay but i really need to start cooking that's what i really need to start doing stop eating out completely i and you know what's crazy i got sandwich meat at home i have sandwich meat at home and i bought sandwich meat for the intentions of when i did not cook i could still have a sandwich you know what i did though i ain't packed no sandwich you know why? Because I feel like the people at the, uh, the uh, places make it better than I do. But what I need to do is go ahead and get some of the shredded lettuce that they got and get me a tomato, give me some onions, cut it up and put it on there and stop playing. Stop playing. I tried the sub rolls, no good. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. The bread didn't taste right to me. 
I got the regular wheat bread and that's what I'm gonna use. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna just have to dress it up how I want to dress it up. Go ahead, get the shredded lettuce. I'm gonna get some maters. And uh, I, we got onions at home. We got plenty of onions at home. And just look it up how I hook up. How they be hooking up the sandwiches outside. Stop playing. Stop playing games. Stop playing with them. Stop playing with me. <coughs> That's how you know I'm about to be right. When I get choked like that, I was about to do too much. So let me. My energy is too high. Let me bring it back down. Bring it back down. But yeah, I'm about to go to the parking lot. Eat my little turkey sandwich. Um, I got me some chip peronis, some some chip peronis to go with it. I'll see y'all when we get off work. I'm off work. Um, sir, why did you stop like that? That didn't make sense. You weren't even coming this way. Anywho, I'm off work. Um, the remainder of the day, for the most part, it was pretty like calm, cool, quiet, and collected, which was nice. But there was somebody who came in there and wanted to open a business account. And y'all know, y'all know business accounts are not my strong suit. The business side of everything is not my strong suit. So I feel like I did a good job. Um, I feel like I got all the paperwork that I was supposed to have. I feel like I did everything that I was supposed to do. But I also feel like I messed up maybe. <laughs> And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I didn't because I did not want homeboy to have to come back. I already told him I wasn't too sure on what I was doing and I might have to make a phone call. But, like, I feel like I walked through it pretty easy. Like, I feel like I did. I feel like I did a good job. I feel like I did a good job. I ain't even going to hold you. Um, I just, I don't know. I get uneasy when it comes to stuff like that. Like, I feel like if... I haven't really had much practice in it. I don't like doing it because even the stuff that I do every day when I get errors, I be irritated and annoyed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's But business accounts and business, like, transactions, business stuff, I just don't like it. Like, it's not that I don't know how to do it. It's because I don't have enough practice in it to be comfortable with it or to speak about it. Like, I don't we do business accounts very very seldomly but at my location so when it's business stuff i choose not to speak on it because i am not sure what i'm doing you know what i mean and um i don't know because uh, my best friend called me yesterday and she was like her mom had questions about some business stuff first of all that's 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 I love my best friend. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I help her with anything that she needs. She's like my sister. You know what I'm saying? I know her family. Everybody cool. But at the, after 5 o'clock, I, I don't... I don't... I can't do it. And also, the question that she had, like, I have... Like I said, I'm not secure in talking about business. Hey, I'm not really secure in talking about a lot of personal stuff, but business stuff I am definitely not secure about talking about and it's just so much to learn that I just be like if I can stay away from it for a little bit like I don't mind taking the head on when I have the proper assistance you see what I'm saying like not somebody standing over my shoulder telling me what to do but if I have a question for them to be available then I wouldn't mind doing it you know what I'm saying like especially if it's a if it's an issue where maybe it's a complicated situation and I haven't dealt with it before if I have questions and somebody's available to answer them like readily available to answer them then I wouldn't mind you know what I'm saying but unless that is happening in the moment I don't I don't really like it I don't I don't really like doing it I don't I don't too much care for it so since I didn't have assistance I got through it the best way I could. And I did it. I think I did a good job. Like I said, I think I really did a good job. It didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take me to do it. Um, but the dude was kind of like, he was he was okay. You know what I'm saying? He was understanding. But I, I feel like he might be like a doctor as well. You know, doctors don't really have patience. And when you ask them questions, they really don't hear you. But, but before, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was rushing. I feel like he was rushing me along. And I don't like that. 
like I said, they really don't hear you when you ask them questions. They're thinking about their next move or next response or whatever Eric can answer, they're going to try to give you. You know what I'm saying? Some doctors, not all, some doctors, my hematologist, he is really cool, really understanding, really like, you know what I'm saying? He listens and he really looks for an answer. So I, I appreciate him. But I appreciate doctors like him. My PCP, she cool too. Um, she really does, like, she, she was really cool. When I had my appointment with her, she was really understanding and really nice and stuff like that. So, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I did, but other doctors, they just be arrogant. So, they give you an arrogant answer. And you got to kind of, like, look at them like, what's your problem? But I feel like he was he was nice. He was just rushing me. And I don't like that. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. But for the most part, all day to day, we kind of been, like, in our own mode. Like, everybody been doing their own thing, getting stuff done. You know what I'm saying? We had a big group discussion. Um, we had a really big group discussion about things and how stuff might change. Because our manager comes back, like, next month. Like, maybe the end, toward the end of next month, she comes back. So, they were talking about that. And it was like, yeah, it's going to be different. I was like, yeah. But I don't really be caring a lot of times. Like, people say stuff to me, but I really don't be caring. Unless it's disrespect, then I'm going to have to address it. But for the most part, I really don't be caring what would be going on, like what people be doing or what they be talking about. Like that, it just really don't fade me. And you can say what you want to do what you want, but I can only do what I can do. You know what I mean? So it just it just doesn't bother me. It just doesn't. But um, I was like I was telling them, I was like, look, the way y'all talking about, you know what I'm saying, like stuff, I'm going to have to get up out of here, which I plan on doing anyway. But I was like, I'm going to have to get up out of here. They was like, <laughs> they was like, you probably, they probably gonna send you to another branch. But then the dude was like, well, wait, the other lady might be leaving, so you might stay here. I was like, I ain't, I ain't trying to stay here. I ain't trying to stay here more than y'all trying to keep me here. How about that? I'm trying to be the all together, all together. I'm trying to be gone, all together. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see, but not we'll see about uh, not we'll see about leaving because I plan on being gone. Trust me when I tell you, I, that is my goal to leave. But um, we'll see how things are when Shorty come back. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We'll see how things are when Shorty come back. But other than that, like I'm already out the door. I already got my piece signed up, my two weeks written, keys ready to be laid on the desk. I'm just waiting on y'all to get me where I need to go. In my mind, I'm already chilling on the beach in Bora Bora. I'm just waiting for y'all to catch up. Hello? That's it. That's all. But I got to go to work tonight with Cuzzo. So that means I'm going home changing. I don't think I ate enough for lunch, y'all, because I'm hungry. <laughs> and I done ate all my snacks. I'm hungry. I don't think I ate enough for lunch. But it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. You're not supposed to get overly full supposed to give yourself time to catch up but my mind never caught up i'm hungry but I, and i was thinking about getting buffalo wild wings wings but i'm not trying to um i'm trying to unbig my back and not keep it humongous and the wings that i want for buffalo wild wings is going to be a lot of calories so i've decided to eat at home <laughs> i decided to eat at home i'm gonna go home and put some in my one pot because I am the one pot chef. Put some in my one pot and go from there. Um, change my clothes, get a snack, and then walk back out of the door. And I will see y'all on my way to get my cousin. As y'all can see, I have changed my clothes. That man be running every day. It don't matter whether it's rain, sleet, or snow. He be running. I commend you, child. I commend you. But um, I changed my clothes. Now I'm on my way to go get my cousin so we can go to work and knock this building out. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until tomorrow.